Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher from CypherPK.com and today I'm presenting you the Berserker guide that I've been working on for For Honor. I've already posted a Raider guide and a Shigoki guide, so if you missed that, check the description down below. And I'll be making more guides for other classes and also adding on to the current classes that I'm covering. Berserker is the next class that I picked up uh, after uh, Shigoki and Raider and I want to share with you guys the things that I've learned hopefully set you guys off on the right path I'm not going to include everything in this guy just to keep it short and to the point But I'll try and include some basics and as, as well as some advanced things so that you guys can uh, Pick up the class and start excelling with Berserker now I do want to say Berserker is one of the toughest classes to perform well with he is in my opinion one of the weakest classes and requires a high degree of mechanical skill and awareness to perform at a high level with him. So a lot of the Berserker skills and a lot of the Berserker uh, success comes from the player behind the class. You don't get anything for free you pretty much have to earn everything with the Berserker. So let's just get right into it. Berserker can uh, get a heavy attack off of any parry, whether it's a light attack, a heavy attack, a zone attack parry. Pretty much uh, every single parry that the Zerker gets, he gets a side heavy or a top heavy. He gets a top heavy off of everything except maybe a few specific attacks that you might not be able to reach the top heavy. But if your input is fast enough, you, you are guaranteed a side heavy or a top heavy off of 99% of the attacks that are thrown at you. Yes, top heavy included. Now, you don't always want to go for a top heavy because your top heavy is your finisher on the, Zer on the Zerker. So you can't lead into anything after using a top heavy. But after a side heavy attack, you could immediately lead into your infinite combo and go for another side heavy. You can faint after that. You can go for a guard break. Uh, it's very, very smooth and fluent. But once you commit for the heavy attack, you kind of have a recovery period where you're not really able to throw and, and combo into more attacks. Um, so parry, parry, parry. That's where you're going to get most of your damage. Berserker gets a heavy off of every single parry that he throws, including long range characters like Nabushi, who sometimes you will not be able to guard break after a parry, but you are guaranteed a heavy attack after a parry. You are also guaranteed heavy attacks while you are exhausted. Even if you are out of stamina and you land a parry, you are guaranteed a side or a top heavy depending on what stance you were on when you parried. So this is very important to understand. Even while exhausted, you can be a threat. Um, also, while you're exhausted, if you grab an opponent and you're near a wall, you could throw them into the wall and you're still guaranteed the top heavy punish. Um, speaking of punishes, let's get into the way the Berserker can punish. Let's talk about the max damage combo. This is a very popular aspect of the Berserker. Now recently they messed up with one of the patches and they removed one of his max damage combos. Basically it's where you grab your opponent, you punch them forward while they're out of stamina, and then you do a side heavy into top heavy. It was very easy to execute once you grab them while out of stamina, and it gave you a whopping 96 damage. Um, with one of the recent patches that was removed, now it's still possible to do the combo, which is a little bit more uh, demanding as far as inputs are concerned. Basically what you want to do is you want to throw your opponent behind you, uh, 180 degrees behind you, and immediately while you're throwing them behind you, you input the side heavy into top heavy. It'll take some practice, but you'll get the hang of it. Now, good news for the people who miss the old combo, it is coming back. So this backwards throw, while a little bit more difficult to pull off, uh, you won't have to do that in the future. In the next patch, the max damage combo for Zerker is going to come back. So all you have to do is push them forward and then do a side heavy into top heavy. Now, the one where you throw them behind you, you have to be in your left or right guard stance. If you're in your top guard, you will not be able to perform the combo uh, for 96 damage. However, if you are in your top guard, uh, you can do a different combo where you throw them behind you and you dash into them for a light attack followed by a top heavy. It's a little bit less damage, but it's still the most optimal damage that you can get. Now, in the current state, you also do get a side heavy into top heavy if you parry your opponent while they're out of stamina. A, an opponent while out of stamina who gets parried will fall down. So if you do parry an opponent and they're going to fall down because of that, or if you have revenge and you parry an opponent, they will fall down. You get the side heavy into top heavy. Uh, it does about 88 damage. You're missing about 8 damage because a Zerker's throw does about 8 damage when you grab them. So if you grab an opponent and you throw them, it does 8 damage. So that gets added on to the 88. So you can still get a huge amount of damage off of a exhausted parry that your opponent falls down. You get the side heavy into top heavy. So, Zerker has one of the most punishing 
uh, out of stamina punishes in the game. It is the most punishing out of stamina punishes in the game. And being able to successfully utilize it in the heat of combat is going to be a very important aspect of Zerker. Not just in 1v1s and 2v2s, especially in the 4v4 game modes where you get a lot more fights and you get in situations where revenge comes into play and you're able to either use your uh, smoke grenades or your traps that run your opponent out of stamina and you can punish them with those max damage combos. So it's important to practice them against the bot and try to you know utilize them in an actual game against a real opponent. Now let's talk about deflecting. Uh, deflecting... While not very popular among any of the assassins, usually a parry is more safe, I tend to try to deflect against slower characters. And, and, I, and I'll mix it in with the regular blocks and parries. I don't always want to deflect because if I know I'm going against somebody who is trying to deflect a lot of my attacks, I will start trying to grab them while they're dodging. Now against slow characters like Shigoki and Raider, deflecting can be very useful um, if used properly and used... Uh, you know, not too frequently to where it you catch them off guard. You do save a little bit of stamina with Deflect as far as you don't have to waste stamina on the guard break. You get the guaranteed guard break. And once you guard break them, you get the side heavy or you can throw them into a wall and do a top heavy. Uh, the thing about Deflect is it's it should be used, but only in certain situations. And the reason why I say it should be used in sl against slow characters is because slow characters usually won't be able to cancel an attack quick enough and grab you mid-dodge if you try to deflect their attack. And even if you go for a deflect and that character, uh, you don't deflect it, but you still dodge the attack, the slower character will usually have a long enough recovery time where you can grab them after you dodge their attack, even if it wasn't a deflect. So technically, you still get the free guard break uh, after dodging their attack. So that's that's all I'm going to say about deflect for now. I'll make another video talking about when to deflect and when not to. It's a bit of a delicate topic. Usually deflect isn't preferred, but once you get comfortable with it and you're confident in your ability to deflect, mixing it in, especially against slower attacks, uh, can grant you some you know pretty favorable outcomes. Now let's talk about hyper armor. Just recently, um, the Zerker used to have an un uninterruptible stance after the fourth attack of his uh, combo. Now, all his secondary attacks and all his secondary chains, like his second attacks in any chain, will grant him the un uninterruptible stance. Now, this is very important. While only being a minor buff, it gives you opportunities to trade with your opponents. Basically, your attacks become uninterruptible on the second hit of the combo going forward, so you're able to get hit while throwing out an attack. This is especially good while you're outnumbered. But also, it can be very good if you know how to trade with your opponent. And the best way to do this that I've found is to whiff a light attack, which means to miss a light attack in front of your opponent. Maybe they'll go for a parry. Maybe they'll try to light attack you back. Maybe they'll go for a heavy or a guard break. And then right after you whiff the light attack, you go into your top heavy finisher, which will deal a whopping 55 damage. So even if they hit you with a heavy attack or a light attack, whatever they hit you with, it will not be worth it because you're going to be hitting them with 55 damage in return. You use right it to trade, See, and if you do that enough, that you'll come out victorious in that in that fight. 55 damage is always going to be more than what your opponent throws out at you. So it's very important to utilize the hyper armor, not just in 1v1s, but also when you're outnumbered uh, to use it to finish off opponents and to make it to where your opponents can't interrupt you while you're trying to uh, take somebody down. So Berserker, again, like I said, he's very limited. There's not a lot of fancy things he can do. Basically, you have to earn every fight. There's no unblockables. If you're going against somebody who's playing very defensive, it's going to be a very tough and long fight. You want to try to feint as much as you can. You can feint attacks with your dodge, which means you can feint light attacks. One of the few characters in this game that can feint light attacks. Use that to your advantage. Um, spinning chops, which is your uh, dash light attack, that's something that you should utilize while being faced with conquerors, Warlords, Wardens, and Shigokis with Charge. Another thing I want to mention against Shigoki, which is a very popular character nowadays, especially the Charge, is you can use your backwards zone attack on Zerker, which is uninterruptible and gives you hyper armor. Um, you can use that attack to counter the Shigoki Charge, and if they charge into your backwards zone, they'll take damage and you won't be knocked down. These are all important aspects of the Zerker that you got to util utilize, but the most important thing is you have to be fundamentally strong 
uh, as a player to pull off Berserker at a high level. You have to know how to block. You have to know how to parry pretty much every single attack, whether it's a fast light attack, a slow attack. You have to be able to parry and use those heavy attacks to your advantage. Use the feint game and mind games to your advantage. You want to feint quite a bit. Side heavy feint into light. Side heavy feint into side heavy feint into heavy. You basically want to be unpredictable to the point where your opponent um, doesn't want to try to guess what you're going to do because if they do, they'll most likely be wrong because you're switching it up on them. And Azurker has a lot of those feint mix-ups uh, and he can feint more than anybody else in the game. So you got to use that to your advantage um, and try to outmaneuver your opponent. Hopefully this video has helped you guys. Uh, if you want to check out more, visit my website cypherpk.com. I don't want to go too long because there's a lot to talk about, but hopefully what I covered in this video is good enough for you guys now and expect more videos coming in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more For Honor content. My name is Cypher and I'll see you guys next time.